Welcome back, my dear learners. We are now on Module 2, Lesson 3. On Advanced Organizers, this time, we'll be focusing on Concept Map. Once again, this is your teacher, EJ, your friendly teacher in your English subject. Hello, welcome to a new learning journey. This lesson will introduce you to another form of textual aid that will help you understand different kinds of text. Specifically, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first determine the effect of textual aids like concept map in understanding a text. Second, illustrate concepts and ideas using a concept map. And lastly, appreciate the importance of textual aids in understanding a text. In the past, you have learned one of the graphic organizers which is a timeline. It is where you illustrated the sequence of events of a text you read. You learned that timeline is one of the textual aids or graphic organizers that show specific events in sequence, usually with dates. Don't forget that. It is particularly useful for studying or reviewing history because it visually displays major events over a period of time. It will help you put events in chronological order that shows progress or change. That's timeline. Now, let's have our activity number one in our lesson. You will be reading the article entitled Love and Time by Angelo Clement. Take note of the different keywords, ideas, and or concepts you encounter in the selection. Then, I'll be giving a complete set of activity you need to follow after reading. Get ready with your ball pen and notebook. Once upon a time, love, feelings, and emotions went to a coastal island for a vacation. According to their nature, each was having a good time. Suddenly, warning of an impending storm was announced and everyone was advised to evacuate the island. The announcement caused sudden panic. All rushed to their boats. Even damaged boats were quickly repaired and commissioned for duty. Yet, Love did not wish to flee quickly. There was so much to do. But as the clouds darkened, Love realized it was time to leave. Alas, there were no boats to spare. Love looked around with hope. Just then prosperity passed by. In a luxurious boat, Love shouted, Prosperity! Could you please take me in your boat? No, replied Prosperity. My boat is full of precious possessions, gold and silver. There's no place for you. A little later, Vanity came by in a beautiful boat. Again, Love shouted, Could you help me, Vanity? I am stranded and need a lift. Please take me with you. Vanity responded haughtily. No, I cannot take you with me. My boat will get sold with your money feet. Sorrow passed by after some time. Again, love asked for help. But it was to no avail. No, I cannot take you with me. I am so sad. I want to be by myself. 
when happiness passed by a few minutes later, love again called for help. But happiness was so happy that it did not look around, hardly concerned about anyone. Love was growing restless and dejected. Just then, somebody called out, Come, love, I will take you with me. Love did not know who was that being so magnanimous. Do you know who so generously gave me a lift just when no one else wished to help? Knowledge smiled. Oh, that was time. And why would time stop to pick me and take me to safety? Love wondered. Knowledge smiled with deep wisdom and replied, Because only time knows your true greatness and what you are capable of. Only love can bring peace and great happiness in this world. That's the story of Love and Time by Angela Clement. The source, Journey to English. Did you like the story? Yes. Oh, that's good. Now, you are going to write the name of the main character or the protagonist at the circle at the center on the numbered circle jot down the names of other characters and their responses when love called them for help now you're going to connect each numbered circle with an arrow to the center circle one circle at the center and six circles on both sides and you're going to connect it to the center circle are you ready great now you're ready for the next part of this lesson enjoy learning our lesson is all about concept map what is concept map it is a visual representation of knowledge. It shows concepts and ideas and the relationships among them are usually connected by arrows. It was developed by Joseph D. Novak and his research team in the 1970s as a means of representing the emerging science knowledge of students. Just like what you did in your previous activity about love and time you did a concept map it is created by writing keywords enclosed in shapes such as circles boxes triangles etc and drawing arrows between the ideas that are related then adding short explanation to concepts that are related so here's an example of a concept map Look at that. A while ago, you read the article and present it in a concept map about love and time. Now, you are apt to do another activity to further hone your skills in this lesson. You are going to make a simple article about a given concept map below don't forget this time you are the one to make a simple article based on this concept map very good now that you have learned much from the start of this lesson it's time for you to check what you have learned based on the text that we have read about love and time question number one who helped love in the love and time 
Very good. Second question. Who passed by in a luxurious boat? Very good. Number three. What should be written in the middle circle of the concept map? Good job! Who developed the concept map? Amazing! What is used to connect ideas, concepts, or characters to show relationships in a concept map? Good job! Now, you're going to lay down in a concept map the different usual experiences of a student like you when learning at home. You can use any shape of your choice, so long as it will be understood. Make your work presentable. Write this on your assessment notebook. Congratulations! Great job! Thank you for listening. I hope that you learned a lot today with our lesson about concept map, an example of a graphic organizer. <laughs>